Good morning everyone. What's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Abby and I am a lifestyle college YouTuber, I guess you could say. And I am currently at my boyfriend's house, as you guys know, just in case any of you guys haven't been keeping up with videos and you're just like, where on earth are you? Yeah, pretty much just staying here for the time being. But it is late. I've been waking up a little bit. It's really weird. I've been like consistently going off and on with waking up early and not waking up early. I've been sleeping the best, so I feel like I naturally am wanting to sleep in. Like I woke up so tired this morning when my alarm went off at 9.15. Didn't really get out of bed till 9.30. And then I just got off a phone call for with Emma. She does a lot of like graphics for a lot of YouTubers. I'm sure you guys have heard of her. And like she did my podcast cover and things of that sort. And she's going to be making a new YouTube banner for me because I've been wanting a new one for a long time. And she did one for Michelle recently. And I like literally loved it. And I was just like, wait, I didn't even think that she could do banners. Like I need to get her to do mine. I'm going to get a few things down for her to kind of go along with the content for her. Um, just so she has some direction and I've been taking my mornings pretty slow because there's honestly no reason to jump into anything in the mornings and there's no other time in my life when I'll be able to chill in the morning. So that's what I've been doing, I guess. So yeah, that's that. Um, I just thought I would take you guys along my day. I'm gonna try and make it a more productive day because I've been pretty unproductive the past three days. You guys know I got the Dyson Air Wrap and my hair is not, I have like literally no product in it right now and it's just dried naturally, which I never do with my hair. I always at least have product in it when it's natural. But I just did that so I could give it a break since I've been using the air up like every day almost. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how I use that later in this vlog once I shower later on. So. I figured I should go ahead and change for the day just to get in some different clothes than what I slept in because it helps me be more productive um, and that's something I have been not doing as much lately unless I physically go outside and like want to walk or something but I can't decide what I want to wear so here's the outfit I just changed into these misguided like biker style lounge shorts I've been wearing these a lot lately as you guys know but I just like to wear them chilling at home and then this um, top is from Princess Polly I feel like I should throw on a bigger like longer shirt so I think I'm gonna do that actually but so I'm about to just like put on deodorant, do my skincare, brush my teeth and all that jazz. But I really wa I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about Hello Body. Hello and Body is a beauty and skincare company from Germany that uses 98% natural products and they do not test on animals, which I try to always get brands that are cruelty free as much as I can. So I really love that. And I really am excited to work with them. I have heard a lot about them and always wanted to try them, but I'm especially excited to work with them because they are really one of those brands that's standing out during this really weird time. Until the 30th, they are donating $1 of all sales to the COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund. And that fund basically just helps the World Health Organization to prevent, to detect, and respond to the pandemic. So I really love that they are using their position to sort of help what's going on globally. I'm going to be sharing with you guys the Renew Your Skin Set tonight. Um, whenever I do my shower, I typically shower at night, so I'm going to show you guys the products I use from Hello Body in the shower and out of the shower so that you guys can see what the Renew Your Skin Set has in it. And I just wanted to mention that if you use my code Abby, you can get 30% off all sets and get a free aloe splash with your order. And I will have that code in the link down below so that you guys can check it out. I'm going to be doing a giveaway with Hello Body as well. So one of you guys will get a $50 gift card and all you have to do is follow Hello Body on Instagram. I will have their at handle on the screen and I'll have a link down below as well. And then all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and comment down below one thing that you have been doing to help keep you sane during this time that we're staying at home. So I had to sign a contract and post some Instagram stories for a brand really quickly. Oh, hello, Ella. For my investments class, we've had to do these like Wall Street Journal quizzes every week. And they've actually been like super helpful. I feel like I'm up to date on a lot that's been going on like in the economy. It's so hard to talk right now because Griffin's playing Xbox with his friend. So I'm having to like talk between yeah. him talking. But this is my very last one. And basically we have like four articles we have to read and then we take like a 10 question quiz based on the articles every week. I've really hated doing them, but they've been really helpful at the same time. So I'm gonna do this since it's my last one really quickly and it takes me like 30, 40 minutes to get everything done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knock this out. So I don't have to worry about it later today.
So I folded some laundry that I just got out of the dryer and I still have some to throw in the washer. When I, while I'm in like this productive, whatever mood mindset whatever i'm doing right now i went ahead and did my wall street journal quiz and i got it's the second one i've gotten 100 on because they're low-key hard <laughs> the past few days i've spent like at least an hour or two starting my day off with animal crossing which like i love but today i haven't been on yet and i want to go on but i'm gonna wait until later um because right now i'm in like a productive mood since i've been doing things but it is like one i have my um corporate tax final next week which last night i like tried to do some problems i literally like have no idea what's i mean okay i have an idea of what's going on but it was like low-key way harder than usual and i think it's just because like i haven't been on top of it as much like i was doing really well the first week back of online classes but then i just kind of like stopped reading but i've been watching all the lecture videos and attending all the zoom lectures so like I'm doing everything I need to do but reading and it's crazy how big of a difference that made but um, I'm gonna watch this part one video and then eat some lunch while I'm in this like productive mindset because um, we only have two videos left and I'm gonna do one today and one Thursday. What I really want to talk about is number two on screen. Uh, 2.30 now, just ate some lunch. I just had a peanut butter and strawberry jelly sandwich and some Greek yogurt with granola and I'm letting my Apple Watch charge a little bit before I take Ella on a nice long walk and I'm gonna listen to a podcast or something while I go on a walk. I mentioned a while ago that I was looking into opening up a retirement account but I didn't know which one yet and I still am unsure about that but um, I did mention that I opened up an individual brokerage account so, so that I could trade stocks and everything like that um, with Charles Schwab and it took a while for my account to like actually get verified. Like I did that probably two weeks ago and it just got verified I think on Friday and then I did like you have to do like a verification to link your like external accounts and stuff to deposit money and I finally got that set up today so now I can actually do stuff which is exciting so I've been like kind of trying to decide if I want to invest right now what I want to invest in if I do and that kind of thing um I definitely plan on like holding for long term since I am so young I definitely want it to be a little bit diversified um I am going to definitely take advantage of some of the more expensive stocks being cheaper right now I feel like the market's gonna like bottom out again between like now and like August or September but like nobody really knows that's like the crazy thing about all of it is that like with investing and stuff like everyone has their own ideas about like what the economy is going to do and all that kind of stuff and no one truly knows so it's just like weird right now because I know right now a lot of stuff's going red after um oil futures and stuff have dropped they're expected to drop below zero or something like that I think I am so young there's a lot that um I'd like to buy and hold on to for now It is 3.40 now and I did let my watch charge but my airpods are dead so I don't want to go walk yet. At least the longer I wait the cooler it'll be I guess so I'm just going to let some YouTube videos play in the background. I've been getting a lot of requests to talk about my Apple Watch in a video which I think is weird. Like I feel like I've gotten a lot of requests super recently so if you guys want to see like a video or at least just incorporate in a vlog like how I have it set up and like what I use it for and everything like that let me know. If you happen to be curious about my Animal Crossing situation. Um, but the name of my island is Lusa for like Tuscaloosa. Um, there's a place in Tuscaloosa actually called that. So I just upgraded my Nook store like yesterday. Um, and it's just like the first upgrade. But I've already upgraded my house twice. My little character. And I've visited a lot of y'all's islands already. And I'll leave my code on screen so you guys can add me as a friend. This is my house. I've like gotten a lot of furniture from like shooting balloon presents in the sky and shaking trees and going to other islands and stuff. And then some of you guys gifted me stuff. So like as you can see like the amount of the expansion I had because all this is new space. Finally walking Ella on this five. I have like a two mile loop that's just like four laps that I like to do so. I'm gonna do that with her and plug in a podcast. I know Michelle Reed just came out with hers yesterday and I didn't get the chance to listen to it, so I'm gonna finish up the one I listened to yesterday and then start hers. It's super hot out and this is definitely something that helps keep me sane during all of this just to like unplug and listen to something entertaining on a podcast and I know it's good for her to get her out of the house. And I don't think I'm gonna work out today. I did a really intense kickboxing workout yesterday from home that was like no equipment besides the jump rope and it killed me and it was through summit kickboxing which is the kickboxing place i have a membership to back in tuscaloosa and unfortunately i have been having to pay for my membership and like not getting anything out of it the past few months but they just started doing zoom classes where you can like 
you can only do it if you're a member um, and you sign up and then you get the link. So that's what I just started yesterday. But the workouts are really intense and I was already super sore from the leg workout I did a couple days ago. So yeah, <laughs> I just don't feel like doing like a super intensive workout because my legs are so sore from already being sore and then doing an insane workout outside yesterday and I got so sweaty and gross. But with that being said, from sleeping on an air mattress and stuff and then my body being really sore, all I really feel like doing and like what I really, really am craving is doing some yoga. So I think I'm gonna do 30 or 45 minutes of a good yoga flow tonight. And I like doing it outside when it starts to cool down. So that's my plan. I just wanted to let you guys know that. But today's overall been definitely a better quarantine day. Um, I feel like I've gotten a lot done. And last night was honestly a pretty hard night for me. I like really got in my feels about like not being at school because I was just getting really frustrated like with feeling like I don't, like doing YouTube is so weird, not being in my own space and like living in a room that's not mine, not having a desk to do schoolwork at, not little things like that and they're little problems and I'm just grateful to even have somewhere to be staying right now considering like my situation. It just got really hard last night and I started to miss my friends a lot and I was going through my camera roll, which I don't recommend doing and looking at all my pictures from just like all of my senior year and got really upset. Um, but it's just because I miss my friends a lot and I miss that normalcy and that routine back in Tuscaloosa even though I hated my house and where I was living. I just miss that, you know, so. All right, long clip over, bye. Okay guys, I'm back inside from walking and stuff and I just got a new pair of blue light glasses and I'm changed back into like what I was wearing earlier just because it's comfier. But, um, and these are from Movement, and they're just, like, all clear, really oversized, like, rectangular kind of style blue light glasses. You guys know I had some before, and I, I've had them since, for almost two years now, from Glasses USA. I worked with them, like, almost two years ago, and I love the pair I have from them. Like, I love the way they look on me and everything like that. The only thing I didn't like about them is that they, like, hit the pressure point right behind my ears and would give me a headache after, like, two or three hours of wearing them which I can't be doing whenever literally all of my work is from my computer. I figured I should invest in a good pair and um, Griffin, or my mom got Griffin a pair from Movement for his birthday. She got him some and they're really like good quality and nice and I noticed that they aren't reflective very much at all and I was like, wait, I really want a pair that doesn't like reflect like that and that is comfy on the head. And I was gonna do the Warby Parker at home try on thing where you try on the five pairs and then like figure out which one you want for lit or for frames. So I was gonna do that, but then I was like, actually, I'll just try out these for movement because I liked these this style, like at least online, more than I liked a lot of the Warby Parker styles online. So it's like, why not try the cheaper pair out? And if they don't work out, I can return them and then just get a Warby Parker pair. Um, if these don't work out so TPD if these are good for long-term wear they definitely aren't near as tight as my glasses USA ones were I will leave these linked down below if you guys want to check them out I'm gonna have just like a chill night since I've actually had a really productive day compared to like a lot of my other days recently It's like 9 30 and um, it's, A lot of you guys ask what matte I have or at least on Instagram you do It's Lululemon 3 millimeter reversible matte and I got black because a lot of reviews said that they fade a lot and the coloring gets really messy and just I don't know, I just read a lot of bad reviews for color, like uh, specifically about colored ones. But if you get a black one, you don't have that problem. Definitely worth the investment to actually get one because I used to slide on my old yoga mat that I have from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. I couldn't do a single movement without like sliding around and that compromises your form really bad. So you don't want that. Um, but yeah, it's really worth it. So this is gonna be his first time trying. You ready? I've been ready. Pull up the down dog app and Get this done. Just finished. Namaste. <laughs> I'm gonna get a freaking millipede in my hair. Yeah, because it takes a bit to get like the form down because a lot of times and you don't. Really wasn't you did good it. focusing on breathing though. Like I get because a lot of times people f don't listen to like the breathing aspect of it when they first start. So like they're breathing on their own when in reality like the breathing helps the movements. So we are done with yoga as you guys saw and I'm about to hop in the shower, wash my hair and everything but I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be using in the shower since I can't show you while I'm in the shower. This is the Aloe Vibe Softening Sugar Body Scrub from Hello Body and I love this because it is a sugar exfoliator and sugar is my preferred way to exfoliate and this was really great to help with ingrown hairs and giving your skin a nice hydrated and exfoliated finish especially before self tanning 
which I'm going to be applying a little bit of tonight. This is the Aloe Splash, which you guys can receive for free if you use my code ABBY and you will also get 30% off a set. So this is a refreshing body shower gel and I love using this to wash my body and it does a really good job of getting like my deodorant off and really just getting all of the day's um, dirt and grime off. Whenever I first put this on, I was so shocked and I was like, my skin feels so silky after. And it's crazy because I went to look at like the description of this product and it literally says um, that it's supposed to leave like a silk finish. So like I felt that before I even read it. And this has a cucumber water and aloe vera in it as well. So it smells really, really clean and fresh. It doesn't feel all tacky and like gross and waxy. I am out of the shower now and I'm about to use this aloe tonic. This is a AHA exfoliator, which I have been loving this um, at night, uh, just a few nights a week to exfoliate my face gently since it is liquid. Yeah, there's no alcohol or oil in this product, which I really love. And then it has aloe vera and cucumber water in it. So that like hydrates your face while the AHA exfoliates. So I love that it kind of does two things at once. I really, really love this one. It hasn't made me break out or anything and I have pretty sensitive and dry skin. And I don't feel like this dries my skin out at all. But I'll say that I've had these like bumps kind of under my chin lately, like really small ones. And this, doing this a few times a week has gotten rid of them. And that's the only thing that's helped. Like I've exfoliated my face in the shower and everything. And this is the only thing that has like fully gotten rid of those bumps, which is like really awesome. After it's been 10 minutes after I use the AHA exfoliator, I apply this aloe night cream and I don't have any like night creams here. This is super moisturizing and it has a plum kernel oil, which really helps plump your skin and hydrate it. And it has hyaluronic acid and aloe vera as well to help hydrate. And I just love the texture of this. It's almost like bouncy. It's just super duper moisturizing and I really think it helps a lot with just replenishing that moisture that you lose while you sleep. All right, I am nice and showered, refreshed. I feel like a million bucks and never underestimate the power of a full shower exfoliate self tan moment. That's like seriously one of the like best feeling things ever. Be sure to enter the giveaway for a $50 gift card by commenting down below something that you've been doing to help keep you sane during quarantine. I can't wait to read those because I'm sure that that is something that all of us need is to see how other people are staying sane and that's kind of like what the theme of this vlog is and um, be sure to follow Hello Body on Instagram. I will have that on screen and down below and be subscribed to me as well. So, and you guys can use my code Abby for 30% off all their sets and get a free aloe splash. If you guys wanna see like a uh. thorough comprehensive review of the air wrap, like my thoughts on it as a curly haired girl and um, tips and like that kind of thing, I can do like a very formal like sit down video and talk through it. So please let me know if you guys wanna see that. Um, it would give me something to do and film. But I'm just gonna show you guys how I curled my hair the other night because I really like how it turned out and I still need to play around with the smaller barrels and this is not like a tussled wave hairstyle that I feel like all of the hair people do like whenever you leave the salon to give you like that beach curl wave or whatever, this is like curls. So just keep that in mind that I'm not going for waves, I'm going for like um, loose curls. I do not have a mirror in here and I can't um, do this in the bathroom because I would wake up people. So I have to use my iPad as a mirror and just open up my camera. So the first step, I'm actually gonna be adding on the dryer attachment to blow dry just kind of like my roots and make my hair not so soaking wet. You want your hair to be damp with the air wrap and um, it definitely works best when your hair is damp because it dries as you go. So I'm gonna start off by just blow drying my roots and I just have a little bit of like a styling cream from Living Proof in my hair just so it doesn't get as frizzy. So that dryer gets my hair to the perfect dampness in like two minutes, which is great. So then I'm gonna section off like the top third of my hair, kind of like an inch above my eyebrows and up. Um, I just find that this is the best way for me to section off my hair. It comes with four barrels for curling. These are the two thicker ones, but what <clears throat> you have to keep in mind is that they kind of like suck air in two different directions. <clears throat> Typically whenever I curl my hair with an iron, I like to do like alternating between going outward and inward. But um, this, it's just faster to do like all of them going one direction, but I do switch it out for each like side of my head. So, so I start off by just grabbing like a one inch size piece in the front right here. The first few times you use this, you may have to like test it and see which way it's going. 
because I mm. haven't gotten used to the arrow thing yet, but I switch it out. So like this whole side, I'll use this barrel and then on the other side, I'll switch to the other one. I use the highest heat and the highest air suction and I will hold it for about 10 seconds or until I can feel that the hair is completely dry. And then while holding it in that spot, I will switch it to cold while it's still on there and the, switching it to the cold um, temperature really helps it hold in like the curl and basically I just go to the end of my hair and just kind of very lightly place it onto the barrel to do this and just kind of move it towards my face you don't really have to turn it and just switch it to cold because it feels dry already I know this looks like a George Washington curl right now, but trust me when this is over, it's going to look like a blowout. I don't know if you guys got that, but you basically don't have to like twist the barrel or do anything. All you have to do is get your hair to catch on the end and then just literally pull the barrel up to your root if you're wanting to take it up to your root. I'm going to show you guys another way you can curl it that's actually a little bit easier in my opinion i think i'm going to start doing this and i just discovered it the hardest thing for me to learn was learning how to get my hair to just wrap on its own so i'm going to show you guys how another way you can do that and you're going to instead of kind of wrapping yourself on the end you're just going to grab close to the end and leave about like an inch or two inches and you're just going to let the hair wrap on its own it's going to suction it on its own and then you can let go and just pull the barrel up to your head to get that full curl. You're just gonna bring it to the barrel and wrap. So these are what like the finished curls kind of just like look like. I know they look literally like roller curls, but just wait and watch. I do want to learn how to do like more wavy, like beach wave tussle type things, which I don't think will be hard at all. It's just this is how I did my hair the last two times I did it, and this is only my third time doing it, so. Just keep in mind that I'm not an expert and this is just like my first go around of how I'm using it. But I got so many DMs and questions of you guys asking me to show how I did my hair. So basically just going to run my fingers through the curls in a way. Which I always get scared when I do this because I'm like I'm ruining my hair but you're not. And that way they get nice and separated instead of all. And kind of like shake them too because I feel like that separates them really well. And then I'm going to whip it out. And then oh, this is how it looks once you like run your fingers through and whip it out a bunch. I just like love the way this looks way more than when I curl my hair because this just looks so much more blown out than like whenever you curl your hair. So that's why I've really been loving this. And I feel like it holds really well when I sleep and the next day I don't really have to touch it except for these pieces right here. Anytime I do my hair with whatever tool it is, I always have to fix these like pieces that are right under the top layer but they're like right here on my head you know what I mean but yeah that's how I do that but I'm gonna go ahead and get in bed because it's like midnight um and just sit on my phone probably because I haven't really been on it today and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog but I love you guys so much be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and follow me on my, all my social media link down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I hope that you got something out of this video and that you enjoyed it so be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next vlog bye